Hey guys, welcome back. I've decided to do a video on how I made this intake manifold setup that's on currently on the GT. Uh, but first what we're going to do is we're going to swap over to this Canon. It has really good quality and um, close-up video, so we'll swap over to that. So one of the key th things here was I wanted to use as little welding as possible. Um, trying to avoid that with making an adapter from the cylinder head to uh, the throttle bodies I just used two standard intake plates which I just had machined off so I could use them as the spacers what we have here is a factory 4 EFE throttle body so you want to remove all this junk all the hoses this little vacuum line take all that stuff off and you end up with this the reason I had to chop all that off is you need them to sit very close together because obviously the ports on the intake manifold aren't very far apart so that was the first thing once you have found your four stock throttle bodies this is the next part is making the adapter that goes from the cylinder head to the um, throttle bodies one of the key things here is making sure that your three plates are flat you don't want an uneven surface because you'll get an air leak I've also used three standard paper intake manifold gaskets inside each of these plates. There is also three silver countersunk bolts, which you can see in the video. So what those do is it holds the three plates together. So when I want to pull the intake manifold off, I don't need to separate all three plates. I can just undo these black countersunk bolts and all three plates come off together without having to break the seal. Also, no, I haven't flow tested the manifold with the cylinder head. I know they're not perfect, but for what I'm trying to do and what most of us are trying to do, is just make an independent throttle body setup that works. The reason the ports do look like this though, is you need to make up the difference between the throttle body hole and the standard intake hole. So between these three plates, you can just get a die grinder out and just machine it until it feels smooth. So once you've made this plate, it's really important that those bolts are countersunk and sit below the surface. The throttle bodies are going to sit flush up against that, so if the bolts are sticking out at all, it's not going to seal. So I've drilled and tapped these holes to an M8 by 1.25, which is the factory throttle body bolt size. These bolts are also just factory Stala ones. This new bracket also accepts the factory cable, which makes life easy. This is my linkage here that joins all the uh, throttle bodies together and the new throttle cable bracket. So the existing cable loops under that, bolts under that point, and when you pull the throttle, These are called velocity stacks or trumpets. I purchased these from JNT Performance uh, online. They can deliver anywhere in Australia. The trumpets sit so close together that you'll actually have to cut a section off each side so they can fit next to each other. This isn't too hard, just use an angle grinder and some CRC. 